Warm water, fresh yeast and sugar, okay? Make sure that your water is warm. If it's hot, it's going to kill your yeast, okay? So the yeast goes into the hot water and yeast feeds on sugar. So we're just going to give it some food like that. Take a spoon and just give it a little stir around, okay? I always get really scared to make anything that involves dough. Yeah. I don't know, it's, I'm so like afraid of it. Once you know the basics of dough and yeast, everything's pretty much exactly the same. Okay, so it's warm water, do that first, and then leave it for like two, three minutes, and you'll see it start to bubble. And that is us bringing the yeast back to life. So, all-purpose flour, no need to sift it at all. That can go in there. Then, 60 grams of shortening. Okay, which is just your regular vegetable shortening. Now, I'm going to ask you to add the baking powder in for me, please. Which is that one over... Just all at the same time. Just all at the same time. Yes, in there. Beautiful. You can add in the salt for me, please. In there. Just a half a teaspoon of salt. And I feel so helpful. You are helpful. <laughs> I couldn't do this without you. Okay. And then if you can have a look there, see all of the bubbles. That's the yeast coming back to life. And that's good already like that. That's good. Okay. Yeah, but it means they're awake and now you can throw it in here. We're going to make this into a smooth dough, put it in a bowl, um, cover it in plastic wrap and let it through for about an hour, hour and a half. Okay. It'll like sort of double in size. And then you're done. And you then and then I'm going to start with the raising dough. Okay, okay. So, I've now worked this until it's really nice and soft. We're just going to cover it up in wax paper. I've got this really nice oxtail here. It's got a lot of layer of fat around there, which is going to keep the meat really nice and moist. The first thing we have to do is season our flour. Let's so season it up, get our pan nice and hot. We then get um, sunflower oil. We are going to take the oxtail and just Dunk them in the seasoned flour. It smells good already. I love oxtail. Yeah. I love it. So onions, carrots, celery and garlic. In she goes, like that. Always a good idea to keep your carrots, your onions, your celery nice and big. Because it's easier to take them out. If you cut them very small, you're going to have to go through it with a fork. So you're not going to use that later, it's just for flavor. It's only for flavor. We call this a mere pot, which is onions, carrots, celery, and leeks. But we don't have leeks. Okay, so with the shell power, it's now sort of doubled in size and it's really nice and airy. So what we have to do is just get our hands and just knock it back. This one. So see, it's really nice and pliable and that's exactly what we're after. To shape them, you just get a little ball in your hand and you round it like that and then flatten it with your hand. Just sort of spread it out a little bit like that. I'm not making giant ones, I'm just making little ones. So. Just a little bit of filling inside like that. Then up and just sort of twist it around like that, all the way around. Give it a little twist of Rooney like that. And that's not going to open up. Put that on top of the wax paper. And then when these are done, we'll just give them a quick steam, 20 minutes, and they'll puff up and then ready to serve. Okay? 